Hello everyone, today I'm working on this building. You ever had that where you get a new kit and you're all excited and then a couple of days later um, the excitement uh, levels out and uh, you just go on and work on something else? Well, this has been sitting on my shelf uh, for more than a year and I never got around to it. So the building's not really big, but there's a lot of piping and towers and smoke stacks uh, that go with it. So that will make it look uh, a little bit bigger. So that should be a nice scene uh, once it's completed. So Green Max is a Japanese company. I get them shipped to my house from Japan directly. But this, uh, this warehouse should Americanize well. So this is what you get in the box. Yeah, I really never, uh, never got to do anything with that. So with all the extra piping they give you, they should, uh, they should make a nice, nice scene. And you get some signs that are in Japanese. And you get the instructions that are in Japanese. Now, I don't speak Japanese, but uh, I speak uh, model railroad. So uh, I should be able to make something happen with this. Yeah, so there's extra storage tanks and piping. So that should go a long way making a nice building there's another extra oil storage pretty nice stuff actually hey, look how they did that they give you half of the half of the tower and the other half and they're identical molds the same for the oil storage tanks. They just make two identical molds and uh, you can use that to make your scene. That's pretty smart actually. The rest is pretty straightforward. You got uh, your walls and your roof. That should be no problem at all. I didn't know this right away, but they give you the option of making it into a factory or you can even make a, an engine house. So that's nice to know. There's a little bit of flash. This is the worst of it here. Other parts like this hook are really well uh, made. So no need to work on that. I started gluing some stuff together. It's coming up well. They give you a, a little shed and the placement of the shell is really up to you. There's no lines to tell you where to put it. So it could go on the side like this or it could go in the back like that. It's really uh, nice to have choices. If it's too long for your layout, you can put it on the side. Or if that's too wide, well, then you can put it uh, somewhere else or even on another building. It's nice to have some choice. So I started painting this. I spray painted the wall uh, flat gray. And I also spray painted the roof. So I'm going to paint some of the doors and some of the windows but uh, it's already starting to take shape. So I guess this is gonna be a refinery. They give you a lot of pipes and uh, knickknacks to work with. It gives you a lot of options. All the parts that I wanted to paint uh, oxide red, I paint at the same time. And all the yellow parts I paint at the same time. While you're doing that, pay attention to some of your leftover decals you may have. 
So this looks like kind of a oil storage facility or a oil refinery. So I'm going to use these uh, leftover shell decals to put uh, here and there. I took a minute to uh, paint the doors blue. Also, uh, most of my painting is done now, so I'm going to work on assembling everything. In this little baggie, they give you uh, decals, but they also give you tons of uh, window making material. So that's, I'm going to put on the, my windows now. Don't underestimate the benefit of these, um, these are paper decals and they can have a million uses. I'm just going to cut up a small strip and these can have a mil million uses. For example, I can stick a little bit on this barrel and that will uh, decorate it neatly. So it adds a lot of interest to it. And these little signs, even though I have no idea what they say, they can add a lot of visual interest to the knickknacks. So I put everything together. All in all, the painting and everything took me about a week uh, to get it done. I'm especially proud of this uh, oil storage unit here. I think that that looks really good. Now I'm going to assemble all my components uh, on the layout. The building itself is not that big, but with the piping and the smokestacks, it really uh, makes a big scene. And I added a couple of my own vehicles. Uh, I guess we can run some trains. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun making it for you. See you soon.